Chapter 3. Journey begins. Wait, we're on the third chapter and the journey's only just beginning. Jesus Christ. Hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play of Fire Emblem Fates. So in the last part, we wouldn't kill some people and we're the dickheads. Alright. Alright, Paris. Let's get in there together. I'll help as much as possible. This is our father we're talking about. He has to forgive you, right? Yes. Thanks, Elise. I hope you're right. All right, deep breath, and here we go! Father, we have something we need to talk to you about. Gah! Father? Father? Huh? It sounds like he's with someone. Maybe we should come back later. <sighs> Who's there? Sorry. Oh, oh, sorry to bother you, Father. Huh? Y yes, we apologize if this isn't a good time. What do you two want? Well... Uh, Father, we're here to apologize. Right, Paris? Yes. Yes, that's right. I'm sorry for questioning you. You may enter. Okay. So the dad's just chilling on his own in this throne room. That's not creepy. Like, a character chilling on their own in a throne room is such a symbol of, yes, I know I'm powerful, and so that's what no. puts me on edge about it. Paris, you disobeyed a direct order from me. Ordinarily, you would not still be alive. <sighs> I understand. Oh, no. no, father, I can explain. Mm. Silence. As you are my child, purse, I will grant you some leeway. I have something in mind for you, a mission. If you complete this task successfully, I will pardon your crime in full. <gasps> really? What sort of mission? Listen well. There is an abandoned fortress perched on the Hashidim border. I wish to know if the building there remains serviceable. You are to travel to the site, inspect the premises, no battle will be required. Do you understand? I won't tolerate being ta disappointed twice. Yes. Yes, father, it shall be done. When he talks to his dad, for some reason it naturally, I naturally feel like instinctive to talk like a robot, but I get along really well with my dad, so I don't know why that's my instinct. This could be true. Darling, are you sure you're going to be okay out there? I don't like this. <laughs> of course. <laughs> don't worry. It's just an abandoned fort. You're acting rather casual about all this, purse. This isn't like father to be so forgiving. Huh? huh? What do you mean, Leo? Huh. That's enough, Leo. Don't be so worried all the time. Sheesh. And I didn't even try to scare purse before his first mission. Huh? <clears throat> Hey, that's not necessary. I suppose I'll have to come along. That way I know Purse will be safe. I'm afraid that's not possible. I'm afraid that's not possible. I have no idea what this voice is, but let's roll with it. Why have not Lago? Let me explain. Lady Camilla, King Garn intends this expedition as a test of sorts. As his top advisor, I have been instructed with coordinating this mission. He would like to know whether Prince Pers is worthy. After all, he is a part of the royal lineage. Therefore, your existence would simply muddy the resistance. Understood. Understood. Camilla, I need to do this all by myself. Surely you understand. Hmm. Not all by yourself, Pers. Father? Father? I didn't see you there. That's fucking creepy. I'm sorry. That dad was just kind of lingering in the corner. No, that's creepy. This guy already looks like a Sith Lord. Stop making him creepy. Rest assured, I don't intend to send you out there completely defenseless. This guy looks like a thumb. We have a thumb. My lord. Hmm. This is Hans. He is a veteran warrior and will ensure no trouble befalls you. Thank you. Thank you, father. Hmm. I'd be wary of that man if I were you, Purs. Huh? Why'd you say that? Hmm. He's a criminal, a murderer, and a scoundrel. I'd arrested him myself a few years ago. Father seems to think that he's rehabilitated, but I'm not so sure. That said, a formidable soldier. I see. We have a thumb. A criminal thumb. That's our ally. A criminal thumb. Yay. <laughs> Wow, is this it? The bottomless canyon? Hmm. Okay, Gunther. What was his voice? It was something like, 
Yes, this is the natural boundary dividing Noir and Hushido. Um, it can't really be bottomless, can it? Of course. Let the eternal darkness below be your answer. Those who fall in never return. I truly despise this place. Something that the la about the land here just isn't right. The sky here is always dark and foreboding, and lightning strikes all who fly across. This is clearly a place us mortals were never meant to enter. Normally, we'd go around. But the fort that King Garon once surveyed is right over there. I see. Oh, it's not so bad. Perhaps I'm just happy to be outside in the fresh air. Compared to the inside of that fortress, this is downright exciting. My, my. Ha! That certainly puts things in perspective, my lord. Come, let's proceed. Blast! It looks like this fort isn't as abandoned as we thought. Why the devil is this place crawling with Hoshirans? Hold on. Hold on. Do not advance any farther, soldiers of Noir. Crossing that bridge is a violation on our Borden Treaty. Turn back at once or be forced to attack. What should we do? What shall we do? <sighs> We're not here to fight. I suppose we'll have to turn back and report to of Father. Course. Wise decision, Lord Harris. <clears throat> Yes, you old man. What? What? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Hot day, Skimbooks. You'll pay for this. Hans, what are you doing? We had no reason to engage these troops. Poofed. Why? We should have tried diplomacy first. We weren't sent here to fight. <laughs> oh, no, that was the wrong voice. Oh, well. Speak for yourself, weakling. What was that? What was that supposed to mean? <laughs> Soldiers of Hashiro, hear me. Do not leave a single Narayan alive. Charge! Prepare to attack. Ah. Gah, looks like there's no getting out of here with, that, with this now. Get ready to fight, Lord Purse. Okay. Seize the building. We can do this. Okay. Now then, Lord Purse, here are two kinds of battle formations. You'll need to learn both, and fast. You can take a defensive position by moving all the same spaces to, as an ally, but your ally will benefit from support, but you won't be able to attack. If you want to unleash the most pot potent attacks, stand in the adjacent positions or from that alignment that allies may be able to attack simultaneously. I tell you more, but you can't- uh, more about- uh, okay. Okay, so we want, so basically we want, okay, so let's move here to here, wait, and then here to here, and these two can pair up. Okay. Okay, so he can't move. Okay, wait. That was probably a bad idea for me to have him go on his own, huh? Okay, but he does well on his own, so it's fine. Okay, so that wasn't a bad idea. He's like a tank. Go tank, go, go, go. Go on tank, go, go, go. Go tank, go, go, go. I was expecting him to be damaged because I was cheering for him and then he wasn't damaged and I had like a brief moment of, oh. Okay, so we can't actually control Hans. I'm afraid the enemy's position across that bridge may be impenetrable. We've got to look for another way across. Lord Purse, see if you can find a dragon vein around here. Okay, there is two dragon veins that we can use. One here. Create a bridge from fallen stones. Create a bridge from fallen stones. Okay. Let's go to here and create this bridge. Okay, and switch. Okay, let's uh, okay, switch and wait. Let's move him and wait. Ally phase. Oh no, hands! This is why. Do you die? Okay, and we're gonna move our guy to here, activate this dragon vein. 
What? Gods, did you see what just happened to the cliff? Who are we dealing with here? Okay, and are there any more dragon veins around? No, there are not. Um, okay, and let's have this guy go ahead and wait. Good. Bah, looks like I've done enough damage with the damn bean. Time to lay low and see how this all plays out. Okay, so we need to defeat Ozumu before we go after anyone else. I'd say, at least. Wait, can't I? Ah, oh, damn, I can't go across this bridge. Okay. That's fine. Let's wait. Um, and we'll just take him here just to see if, like, next turn I can do something. Okay, Dragon Vein, right here. Okay, and... Yeah, we literally can't... Wait. Oh no, archers. Wait, why didn't the maid attack? She just kind of stood there. Um, shall we? Uh, I'll protect you. Attack. Attack the archer because the archer is going to be annoying in the long run. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Sneak attack. We can do this together. Sorry. Oh yeah. So, these like individual troops keep coming after me, but it's obviously not going to work. Like, it never works. They like die or come close to dying all the time. This computer's AI isn't very good. I, I won't lie. But that's working my benefit, so I'm not complaining. Okay, I need these two to separate and separate. Um, to that. Oh, damn. Okay, so because I've separated, I can't. Okay. Okay, so let's just stay here and attack. Ah, uh, yeah. Enemy phase. I'm here to help. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot she, she could use daggers from afar, so it like, kind of makes sense to have her set on her own. Or at least, like, just behind me. Um, actually, let's not have him go and attack on his own. Let's have this guy attack first. Do you even realize what you've done here today? Bushido won't stand for unprovoked attacks like this. Revenge will be ours! So from what I can tell, the Hashidans don't have much armor, but they can use, they can do lots of damage very easily, and they're very, very fast. Um. Okay, an attack. Okay, so when she's on her own, she can't. She she's useless. Got it. Attack. Uh, 
Oh no. Enemy phase. Oh no. Why didn't it team up with the other two? It was meant to team up! Why didn't it team up? Why didn't it- No! Lay my maid alone! No! No! She comes back, right? Ow. I shouldn't be seeing my bones stick out like that. I need to retreat. We've got trouble. Oh. Did we just lose our only healer? Okay, Paris can go here and wait, and then he can attack this guy with the assistance of Paris. Let's go. This is my chance. Okay. Damn you! This isn't over. Yeah, but we lost our healer. Okay. We're still leveling up purse first, so it's good. This is my I mean, it was technically purse second this time, but we leveled up. That's what the point is. Clear this chapter. Have one of your units seize this space. Oh. Is that it? Let's have purse do it. He's... Season... Yeah. Because... God damn it. Heroes, purse, and Felicia. Oh, yeah. Purse and Felicia doing it again. This wasn't what I had in mind, but at least I've completed Father's mission. <laughs> You're the leader of these troops? Ha! You're nothing more than a boy. Who are you? My name is Saizo. I've come to claim your life. Hey! Everyone! We're still under attack! Destroy them. I won't allow it! Who, who's that? Who, what? Who is this? This is my... What? This must be their real commander. What's going on here, Puss? <gasps> Xander, how did you know we were in trouble? You have the devil's own. You have a. Luck. We've arrived just in time. Your luck never runs out, does it, brother? You all right, dear? Are you all right? I was so worried about you. <laughs> we're here for you, Purse. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, but before we get too carried get too carried away, we are under attack. Uh -oh. Who dares attack my beloved purse? <laughs> exactly! That's me at a club! Who dares attack my purse? Like, seriously? Hands off the purse! I'll have their heads on a platter. Oh. I'm not hurt, Camilla. Not to worry. But darling, it's the thought that counts. <gasps> I never knew Camilla could be so ruthless. Hehe! <laughs> That's right! You've never seen her on the battlefield before! This is not going well. Saizo! Saizo! What's wrong? What's our stats? I must just must judge the situation. We're outnumbered. Kegoro, anyone else on the way? Yes. Affirmative. Lord Ryoma is right behind me. Ah, then I think this battle is good as won. It looks more like Hashidan reinforcements are on the way. Indeed. What should we do? Well, well Purse is safe and the fort's condition has been evaluated. There's no reason to engage Hoshida further at this point. Purse, you take the lead with Gunter. We'll follow close behind. Understood. We'll do. Thank you, Xander. Okay. Oh. Gunther, have you seen Felicia? She was here a second ago. I'm sure she's right behind us. Now, hurry up. I can't stand being on this bridge a moment longer. Don't worry. You won't have to stand there. Don't worry. You won't have to stand much longer. Uh, Hands! What? What's the meaning of this? <laughs> Let's talk more death. <laughs> ah! No! 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 We lost! Ah. Hands, no! Exactly! Why are you doing this? You're our own ally! <laughs> Did I knock your babysitter into the ditch? Here, yeah, you can meet up with them at the bottom. Okay, never trust a thumb. What the hell did we just do? You'll pay for this! What, what kind of freak are you? He's 
fucking be? I want answers, Hans. Why are you doing this? Why did you provoke the Hashidans? And why did you kill Gunter? Answer me! I was just, I was just following orders. King Garen's orders. What? what? You lie. Come back here. Huh? No! What the fuck? What the hell? We fly down to the bottom cause magic sword? <laughs> this is a really long part, I'm sorry about that guys. Oh my god, is that our maid? Is our maid here to save the day? My kin, my gods, my blood. Dragons, Dragons grant me strength! Great morrow, I beseech you! Okay. Lilith, is that you? What are you? Lord Purse, I knew this day would come eventually. This may come as a shock, but I am not a human. No. Well, I can see that. Are you a dragon? Yes, this is my true form. You've seen it before, do you remember? That strange bird you rescued in the barn. Uh, that was... was you? It was once I recovered, I was able to take human form. I wasn't... you were so kind to me that I decided to remain a human that I might serve you. But now I have used power that goes beyond capacity of a human body. I will not be able to return to that form. I do not mind though. The most important thing for me is that you are safe. Eek! Lilith, be careful. Drop me if you must. I won't have you sacrifice yourself for me. First dragons, I call of you. Grant us access to the astral plane. Okay. What just happened? Well... Where are we? This is a world parallel to the one in which you live, Lord Purse. It is known as the Astral Plane. Huh? How are you able to get us here? The first dragons have granted us the power to inhabit this dimension. Under the protection, we are safe here. Oh, allow me to prepare a place for you to rest. You know, because no one's going to question why there's a fucking treehouse in the middle of a path to a clear palace. Did, did you just use a dragon vein? Yes, the power of the first dragons flows freely in this realm. You should know that the space and time operate differently here as well. I have so much to learn. Is there anyone else here? No, we are alone. There is no one left here. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to invoke any bad memories. It's okay, Purse. I'm not lonely as long as I have you in my life. Now, you should get some rest. What the hell just happened? How are you feeling, Purse? I know this is a lot to take in. Thank you. Yes, it is, but I feel much better now. My wounds seem to have healed already. And my mind is racing. I have so many questions about this world. All in good time. For now, some business remains in the other world. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I can't relax until I know everyone's made it safely home. Of course. There is just one thing you should know before you go back. When I open the portal, you'll return to the same location you came from. That means you'll arrive right on the Hoshidan border. There may be soldiers lying in wait for you. Understood. I understand. I'll be ready for them. Very well, then I will open the gate. <sighs> I'm back, but where is everyone? You're mine, Narayan. <gasps> huh? Yeah. Okay, and we're dead. We're dead, right? That, like, that's it. Okay, guys, that's where we're going to end this part, because we're dead.
That's it. We're dead. We're dead. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and do all of the social links down below. And I will see you all next time.